Walmart can be hard to avoid. Stores pop up in big cities and small rural towns, offering low prices on large quantities of everyday products that families want and need. However, Consumer Reports found that Walmart was, quote, by far the most complained about purveyor of groceries when it surveyed 50,000 customers about their food shopping habits and preferences in 2017. A top complaint? The quality of the meat and poultry. As is true with most big box stores, though, there are many products for sale that are best avoided. And one of these items is fish. A bit of clarification here, we aren't talking about the pet fish that used to be at the back of the store. Sales of those were discontinued in 2019. We're referring to the fresh seafood that's usually found near the meat and the frozen seafood found in the freezer aisle. Whichever one you might be considering, take a moment to reconsider. What do you know about the seafood in your shopping cart, and what don't you know? While prices can be lower on many items at Walmart, this isn't true for all products, including seafood. The Kitchen found that wild Alaskan salmon was nearly $1 cheaper per pound at Costco than at Walmart. And if sustainability is important to you, Greenpeace says that Walmart still has some work to do when it comes to its seafood sustainability measures, noting that customers are not given enough information to make sustainable choices. According to them, Walmart ranks among the mediocre stores in the industry. Plus, if you're in the mood for shrimp scampi or grilled shrimp skewers, you should steer clear of the bags of imported shrimp. Not only can they be harmful to your health, but many countries have a record of treating seafood facility workers poorly. Even Walmart's canned tuna isn't a good choice, according to Greenpeace, who says, Progress on sustainable canned tuna has stalled, and Walmart is one of several companies mentioned in reports concerning slavery in its supply chain. Instead, buy shrimp from an ethical fishmonger. It may not be as cheap, but it will be worth it. This is a good fish. That's a bad fish. Good fish, bad fish. Even if value and sustainability aren't big factors for you, taste likely is. Who wants subpar salmon? Based on reviews of Walmart's great value wild-caught pink salmon, that might be what you're getting. The Frozen offering is rated at just 2.1 stars out of 5, and reviewers don't hold back about what makes this fish so bad. One review notes, Disgusting. Is this even salmon? Small individual frozen portions that thaw to a very soft and mushy consistency, but will firm up once cooked. It is very pale and has very little oil that other salmon has. There is a very unpleasant metal, fishy aftertaste. Again, disgusting. Another suspects you're not really getting the salmon you think you are, noting, This not wild caught. Upon closer inspection, on the back of the package it states, This product comes from a fishery that has been independently certified to the MSC standard for a well-managed and sustainable fishery. Typical scam and mislabeling of a salmon product. While a nice white fish seems like it might be a safe alternative, Walmart's great value frozen wild-caught Pacific cod fares similarly to its salmon when it comes to reviews. Coming in at 2.6 stars, shoppers don't have great things to say about this product either. According to one reviewer, disgusting, smells and tastes dirty. All of Walmart's frozen farmed fish seems to have the same issue. I hoped the cod would have been okay after trying the tilapia and flounder with the same issues. I will never buy their frozen fish again. Another reviewer added, It is terribly salty. I even tried soaking it in water. Package says almost 400 milligrams of sodium per serving. It tastes more like 2,000 milligrams. If you must shop for your seafood at a large retail grocer and you don't live in a coastal town, look for seafood that's native to your region. Buy frozen fish caught in America and avoid shellfish if you live inland. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.